Hey everybody, my name is Danahan and I'm going to show you how I got CPS1, CPS2, Neo Geo, and Konami arcade ROMs into my Super Nintendo Classic via HackG2 version 2.20. Keep in mind that this is not a tutorial on how to install HackG2 into your SNES Classic, but I will put a link in the description below to ETA Prime's video as it's very very thorough okay so we will open up the folder that has all of our arcade ROMs in it and open one of those ROMs and you'll notice that it has a bunch of small files on it so what you're gonna do is click on the import as archive button do not select any of the files and click OK I've already done that so let's start off with Captain Commando which is a CPS1 game. So the difference between this and your SNES games that you have uploaded is the command line argument. When you first upload this, it's going to be zip. You're going to first see this command line as bin forward slash zip. What you're going to do is type out retroarch dash clover space fb underscore alpha this will work for all cps1 games as well as konami games and that's it you add the game into hack g2 then you change the command line to retro arch dash clover space fb underscore alpha all right next up we got cps2 games one of the most popular CPS2 arcade games would be Marvel vs. Capcom. And there are a couple requirements for CPS2 games. First off, you're going to need to change the command line from zip to CPS2. Simple enough. You're also going to need to download qsound.zip, which is a BIOS file for all CPS2 games. And you're going to have to put that file into the folder where HackCheat 2 had compiled the game. So let's go into that folder. And in order for you to find that folder, it should be under Documents, HackCheat 2, Games underscore SNES. And you'll see a bunch of these weird file names. In order for you to find the file that is associated with the game, you look at the ID, which is above here under game options. This one is CLV-Z-MGFWW. So let's go ahead and find that. OK, and here's the folder for Marvel vs. Capcom. You can see that there are two different files. There is an MVSC and an MVSCU. This I can go over in a different video, but basically determines what language is displayed. OK, so now this is where you add the qsound.zip file. And this qsound.zip file is needed for all CPS2 games. So CPS2 and the qsound.zip BIOS file. That's it. All right, finally, we go to our Neo Geo games. And we got Metal Slug 5 here as an example. So it's similar to CPS2 files where there's two requirements. You're going to change bin forward slash zip to bin forward slash fba and so once you've done that you're going to have to download another file which is called neogeo.zip which is the bias file for all neo geo games and then you're going to have to paste that into the metal slug 5 folder so this is the neo geo zip here and that's it let's go ahead and test these games out
All right. Here's the modded Super Nintendo with all of the ROMs that we have installed from the CPS1, CPS2, and Neo Geo ROMs. So let's go ahead and open up the Sunset Riders ROM that we have just installed earlier. All right, and it looks like it's running. Let's do a little check. All right, it looks like it's there. There's the intro. Looks like it's running fine. Cool. All right, let's get out of here. And let's try Turtles in Time, the other ROM that we had installed. All right, looks like it's initializing. Looks like we have installed the ROM correctly. Let's go ahead and test it out too. Wow, I haven't seen this intro in a long time. Pizza power. Let's see if we can select our turtles. All right, it's Donatello. All right, looks like it's running. All right, let's go. Let's reset this guy. Perfect. And let's go try a CPS ROM, CPS 1 ROM, Street Fighter 2. Championship Edition. Okay, it looks like it's running fine. It works. Let's move around a little bit and see how responsive it is. Yep. All right. It looks like it's working fine. All right. Let's try a CPS2 ROM. Marvel vs. Capcom. I think this is one of the reasons why I wanted to mod this system is so I could play Marvel vs. Capcom. This is one of my favorite games in the arcades. I remember spending a lot of money in this. It looks like it's loading fine. Again, make sure you have the Q audio BIOS file inside of the build file for Marvel vs. Capcom. Alright, looks like it's loading fine. The title screen's working. Let's go crazy then. Alright. It's working fine. I'm moving around pretty easily. Go select Captain America, my favorite. And then Wolverine, but let me see if I can remember my uh, code to get Colossus too. 
Oh, I don't remember it. Ha! <laughs> Alright, looks like it's working fine. Let's check it out. Movements and everything. Yeah. yeah, looks like it's working. Alright, we're gonna get out of here. Cool, so CPS1 and CPS2 works, as well as the Konami games that we just installed earlier. And now, let's try out Metal Slug. I think this one is very surprising. Um, this is a big ROM, so again, we're limited to the amount of space we have. We have about 200 megabytes of space. So let's go ahead and open up Metal Gear, or Metal Gear. Let's go ahead and open up Metal Slug 5. Oops. Let's go ahead and open up Metal Slug 5 now. Take some time. You'll have a long pause in between from when you open it up. Yep, looks like it's flashing. And there we have it. Metal Slug 5. All right. Just amazed at the sound quality in here. You know. And that's it for my tutorials. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. And good luck. Thank you for watching.